Hello everyone, welcome to all neat aspirants. Today I came with one of the unravel of NCRT concept from the chapter evolution. Let's move on with that question. What actually the question is? Which of the following statements supports natural selection theory? The very first option gave like this, adaptive ability is inherited. And the next, acquired characters are inherited. Next, fitness is the end result. Evolution is due to saltations. Selection and evolution of a species is genetic basis. Among these five statements, which of the statements supports the theory of Darwinism, the natural selection theory? The very first statement, adaptive ability is inherited. You know well, nature selects for fitness who have genetic basis, that is adaptive ability, make the organism to survive. What about the third statement here? Fitness is the end result. Yes. Fitness is the end result of natural selection which makes the organism, which enable the organism to survive and to live more progeny. Means it become a survival of the fittest. What about the fifth statement? Selection and evolution of species is a genetic basis. Yes, all the story, it revolves of Darwinism surrounding that if nature changes, if organism want to survive, it also need to survive, it, if it want to represent, if it want to survive, it also need to show some adaptations, adjustments according to the uh, particular environment. So adaptive ability make the organism to survive. From where they got this ability, this is inherited. So these three statements is the one supports Darwinism stating as a result is a fitness. Survival of the fittest, you know, the familiar theory of Darwinism. What about the other two statements? If you talk about the other two statements, acquired characters are inherited. You know, well, acquired characters are inheritance of this is Lamarckism theory, the French naturalist who states that whichever the characters developed by the organism in his or hers, money in organism's lifetime, that is going to be inherited. He used the use and disuse of organs, stating that average deer-like necked ancestor deer evolved into a long neck giraffe. Anyway, we are not going to support this conjectured theory of Lamarckism anyway. I mean, anymore we are not supporting this theory because it is conjectured, because we don't know exactly what's happened behind this. If you go with the case of other statement, evolution is saltation. Evolution is saltation according to the mutation theory of De Vries who worked on Inothera Lamarckiana, the evening prime rose. According to him, evolutions are saltations means here a single step mutation, a single step large variation resulted to the origin of a new species. So let's have a comparative way between the Darwin and the Hugo de Vries. According to Darwin, the variations which are responsible for evolution, he took as a minor variation, small variations. And they are gradual and continuous. So I conclude, according to Darwin, evolution is gradual and continuous and heritable as usual. If you go with de Vries theory of natural selection, According to him, he considered the large variations, the macro variations for evolution. According to him, they are saltations, that is heritable, discontinuous, random, sudden and large. So this is one of the previous neat question also. According to De Vries, the evolution is saltations, is one of the previous neat question. Okay, this is about the questions but I would like to uh, share a few statements with all the neat aspirants. So involving in so much stuff, it will ruin your aspiration. Actually means if you go with different, different stuff, which, which is beyond NCRT, it's not going to work out. 
if you confine and if you walk as much as you walk on ncrt concept that make you to fetch out from the things actually too many things no doubt it imprints or it is going to uh, develop some concept in you but is not relevant to you to get a gate pass into your medical college so to grant the need to get into your medical college you need to confine as such as ncrt concept it's my sincere advice as a senior faculty you, as much as the walk as much as you confine as much as you practice the ncrt concept you will fly with colors definitely i hope you got what i actually want to share regarding the importance of ncrt book that's all for today guys have a great day it's a wrap thank you